Hello everyone. Welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly oops, singles of love reading for cancer. How are you guys? Hope you're all having a good weekend. Let's see what your energy is here. But first, you can see I have my protection bottle. This is protect any new abutting romance relationship, protecting uh, all that all the things that you're working for. And this is my little pot of honey, rosebuds, and salt. It's to protect that sweet love. I wanted to have that positive energy in here. Surround you with positive energy. Cancer. Oops, there we go. Yeah, it's an energy. Some of you are releasing someone. Yeah, you're setting yourself free. You're moving towards something more successful. So I do see success and victory here. Going to form a connection. Beautiful. So ending that leads to a new beginning. Lovely energy. Could be yourself or another person. Okay, Cancer. Does Cancer need to know? New love prospects? Oops, there we go. Yeah, you're looking back at all this hard work. You're moving towards success. Yeah, so I do feel there's an energy where you're letting go of someone. And I do see that Five of Swords energy. Uh, an unwise choice. Some of you may have made a choice in the past and didn't have success. So you're letting go. You're looking back at all this hard work. Now you're moving towards something more successful. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Cancer. New love prospects and connections. Oops, there we go. Look at that. Hermit energy. It's an energy of soul searching, spending a little bit of time alone, looking for clues and answers, okay? So this is about a journey. It's about a path towards success and victory. Cancer. Oh, yeah, some kind of transformation. So you've gone through some kind of change and transformation because you're leaving something behind. And, uh, yeah, wow. Wow. You're ready to move towards success. So I do feel there's this energy of soul searching, this path. Uh, I do feel like you had someone who manipulated you. Maybe was dishonest or deceptive. Uh, some kind of unwise choice. Yeah, it's about integrity. Wow. Yeah, you have another opportunity here. Sense of open-hearted and experienced. A little bit moody. <laughs> Yeah, a little change in the mood here. Yeah, look at that. Lovely. You're getting out to meet new people. There's some news worth celebrating. Nice. So you're letting something go here. There's a reason to celebrate at the end of this. You know, someone who is deceptive or dishonest. You're looking back at all this hard work, okay? And you're moving towards this. This is, a, I feel, could be yourself. Or maybe you have a Virgo energy. I do see Sag, Libra, a little Scorpio energy. Yeah, something has definitely come to an end. And I feel like you have another person, a little offer. You know, this is someone here. It's a social invitation or event is about to happen. You're going to get an invitation uh, to some place here. It's someone who's a little bit shy, a little on the sensitive side. But I feel at the end, like this card, I love this deck so much. It, 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 shows, it just shows everything. So this is news worth celebrating, joyful announcement. Uh, invitation I feel it because this one here also says invitation and and that's how I see that page of cups someone who's offering you something okay they want it's it's dating courting energy do you want to get together do you want to meet somewhere and talk so it could be someone you know through uh, social circle online dating in your community tell me about this release could be just the final stages of healing yeah you've got something new you have an offer uh, this is going to be something more successful. Beautiful. Yeah. There you go. Sag energy. Somebody coming in with that Sagittarius energy. Somebody with a little bit of an ego. That's what I feel like you're releasing. You're going to let someone go because you got something new coming in. Uh, it's looking like it. Tell me about that two of cups. Yeah, you've got something better here. Wow. So you've got to definitely have a person. They could have a little Virgo in their chart. So you have someone who wants to have success with you. Uh, so I do feel like we have a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, someone who's uh, definitely emotional, a little bit sensitive. Uh, this is someone who's going to communicate. They're going to offer you this pentacle. This could be a person who's releasing that energy too, letting go of their ego. It could be a death of the ego here. <laughs> oh, yeah. But I do see you freeing yourself from a situation. 
Cancer, yeah. You're looking back. You're moving towards something more successful. See, feeling a little bit beat up, Cancer, but you've got this, okay? See that energy flowing, yeah. No longer repeating mistakes in the past. You're breaking free from a situation. You may have been in a situation with someone who was quite controlling. Uh, but I also see the other scenario of a person, the death of their ego, because you've let them go. Okay, so I do see a little bit of manipulation, mind games, uh, dishonesty and deception here. See, it's an energy of breaking free, no longer being trapped in that situation. It's, it's an energy of someone who's in their head, okay, trapped in their head more than anything here. So I do see this period coming to an end. It's finished. You're finished with someone here. Yeah, you're looking back at this energy. Yeah, see someone very strategic, um, manipulative, plays mind games, you see. This is somebody who's up in their head doing a lot of thinking, you see, strategizing. So, yeah, I feel like you got somebody better here. So that's what I feel. You're going to you're gonna get an offer with someone new. You're going to let go of someone. Well, I do feel it's a person who has ego. Yeah, see, there you are. You're ready to move forward. You're turning your back. Uh, look at that. Yeah, we got the King and Queen of Cups here. Is this some transformation in your love life? It's like some kind of change you've gone through. Yeah, there it is. You have an opportunity. Tell me about this page of, there we go. Yeah, you've got a Taurus Virgo. There you go. You've got, you're letting someone go who's manipulative, strategic, plays mind games. This is some of the, you know, energy that you've been trapped in. You're breaking free from it. You're no longer uh, looking at that energy. So, Because I feel like it's because you, you're releasing this person uh, because you have a new offer, okay, from this person here. Someone who's planning success, they're making some kind of plans to reach out to talk to you. They do have a bit of an ego possibly as well. <laughs> but it's an energy of releasing that as well because I see that twice. Yeah, it's an energy of no longer investing in this energy, you see. Very nice. No longer invested in that. You're finished. You're setting yourself free. You're moving towards something much better. Uh, definitely someone who's successful. They still do have a bit of an ego. I got to be honest. Uh, they're likely someone who gets chased a lot, but you're not chasing this person. So it's definitely a person who's coming towards you. I feel as though you've. it's sort of like uh, you've been there before. I feel like you're kind of getting this energy. Uh, you have this opportunity with this King of Pentacles. This is somebody who's uh, stable, grounded, practical, uh, making plans for the future. This person's going to offer you something. They want to get together with you. There could be uh, an event or a celebration with friends or family or something in the community. Uh, they're looking at that. Very positive uh, news. We're celebrating. So it's possible this person is... Uh, maybe communicating with another person. Who knows? Okay, someone might be helping them have this success. We'll see. We'll dig into this a little deeper. Oh, yeah, we have the King and Queen of Pentacles again. Boy, that's coming out a lot lately. A lot of people are going to connect to this year. A lot of people are learning. Look at that, Cancer. You're on your own path here. So you've been soul searching, spending a little time alone, looking at clues, and this is what you're seeing. It's like you know you're getting it. You're breaking free. You're no longer getting trapped in this cycle, this energy. You're looking back at all this hard work. There's definitely a couple of uh, little um, scenarios in here. I see two people looking at each other, communicating. Practical, sensible, uh, I feel. Someone here is a little more shy than the other. Yeah, so we have <laughs> little Taurus energy. Somebody could be Taurus here. This is two people who... Um, or on the same page, the same path. Okay, you're gonna. I don't know if you're gonna meet this person. There's something traditional. It could be a yearly event, some kind of traditional celebration where you could meet this person, or they're inviting you to it. Beautiful energy. Definitely some Taurus energy here. This is someone on the same page, the same path. They want the same things as you do. Okay, it's an energy of learning as well. Two people learning, getting to know each other, dating, courting. Oh, beautiful. It's definitely dating in a traditional manner as well. Somebody more like yourself, similar lifestyle, you know, similar habits. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. I do feel they have a bit of an ego though, I do. I think this is someone who also gets chased. So you're going to look at whether you want to invest in it or not. 
<laughs> oh yeah, so someone is definitely in control of their emotions. They're not ruled by their emotions, very logical. I feel like both of you are kind of in that energy, but you're sensible, you're practical, you're grounding yourself. You want someone on the same page. So I do see this person coming in very quickly. So somebody is going to do things in a traditional manner too. They'll come and pick you up and take you somewhere. Very traditional, old school rules kind of thing. Okay, really nice energy. Tell me about this King of Swords. Let's be done with that energy. It keeps, I keep seeing it. And it's like, I feel like there needs to be something about this person. Yeah, you're using all the strength you have to move away. You're not you're no longer sharing your feelings or emotions. You're breaking free from this person. This is someone very strategic, see? Yeah, you're you're staying on course, you're moving away. You have someone who's on the same page. They want to stay on course. Very traditional. Like I say, traditional dating. Uh, there could be some kind of an event that happens, you know, could be a weekly, a yearly kind of thing. Some kind of could be a family reunion, like one never really knows with that. Uh, three of cups it's something to do with community very very positive in fact on this card it's news worth celebrating joyful announcement like engagements wedding pregnancy graduation it could be meeting somebody at a graduation i do see a little bit of travel here i see the offer the cup so it's you know it's someone who's staying on course but staying in control they're not putting all their feelings out there uh, watch yourself don't be controlled by your emotions either it's that soul searching about your path looking for clues you see yeah you know yeah it could be something to do with children uh, so it could be a family reunion traveling going to your family but that's that soul searching energy looking for clues uh, i see an energy of keeping things kind of simple i see gift giving as well very very positive energy this is your inner strength You're using all that strength you have uh, to move away after a period of maybe you've been spending a lot of time alone in hermit mode you know as you go through some kind of healing here uh, but i this opportunity you see that's being presented to you yeah so this is definitely an energy somebody who's single okay uh, there's some kind of a transformation to do with sing, being single someone who has everything they need but they don't have love a little bit on the cautious side, though. I have to be honest. They are someone who's a little bit cautious, but I see that romantic encounter, social uh, invitation or event. Someone quite intuitive as well, I feel. Someone's releasing uh, their old belief system, see? This is somebody who's ready for that transformation. That's where I feel. It's moving towards someone more like yourself. I see you being single. Some of you maybe were in some kind of a relationship with someone and you're ready to let go and break away from that energy. No longer being trapped, trapped in your head. Uh, very negative. This is somebody very with a lot of negative, very strategic, you see. Strategizing, but through manipulation, you see. You're stronger than this person. And it's also telling you, Cancer, you're stronger than you know. Okay? That's your inner strength. Whoops. Yeah. So you're no longer feeding somebody's ego here. You're no longer investing in them. Wow. Yeah. You're walking away. Very nice. So you're moving towards something better. Yeah. Nice. We're just going to leave the rest of that. Tell me more about this person here now, i don't know if you're going with one person to an event and then you meet someone else and <laughs> i don't know what's going on yeah there it is right there it's coming out you got a person who i feel like you're going to meet somebody at an event and it's going to whoever this person is there's something about them uh, that you're looking at now i don't know whether it is it makes you realize you don't want to invest in someone because you're being attracted to someone else or they're no longer invested in a situation so it could be a person who's letting go of their ego, who's used to being in control related to this. It could all be one person. But I do see this King of Swords energy, very strategic person. Yeah, you're cutting someone out. You're speaking your truth. So, yeah, it looks like some of you have been in that dating pool for a while here. 
Yeah, there's definitely, a, you're cutting someone out, you're moving to someone, you're connecting with another person. I feel like that's your own uh, intuition, your knowledge, your inner wisdom. You're going to meet somebody new, maybe before you've completely let go of someone, make sure you speak that truth, okay? Be in your integrity, because that's what this five swords is, is that integrity. You have somebody who doesn't come in with integrity, okay? Uh, lies, deception, dishonesty, mind games, manipulation. So you're seeing some kind of truth. But it's also reminding you to be honest if you start something with someone else, okay? Some of you have children too. I see going family reunion, get together, traveling to your family home. You may be kind of spending some time alone. It's telling you to get yourself out there basically, uh, to be on the move. And I see that energy of... Uh, the Six of Cups. So there's a little bit of a melancholy, okay? Uh, some of you are definitely uh, missing your family and your friends. Uh, it's time to get out there. If you do, you are going to connect. But I feel like you're making the connection before you actually let go of someone. Yeah, somebody who's not responsible, reliable, someone who doesn't pull their weight. Okay, so the burden's lifting. You're going to be getting something off your chest as well here. I feel at the same time. Oh my goodness. Tell me about that Eight of Swords. Yeah, so offering one cup, nothing more. Being careful what you wish for. So, so someone who didn't give you what they want, is they wanted you to indulge them. You got someone here who wants you to indulge them. They come in when they want attention. You're going to meet this other person, and that's where you're going to realize that you really aren't as interested, I feel, as this person, and where you finally break free. Uh, you're going to get something you want here. You've got an offer. Look at that. Someone's going to reach out. Likely they're going to be asking you if you're single. <laughs> Since you are you're got a date, you've got someone who's going to pick you up, uh, take you out. I see two or three dates at least here before you make a decision with this person, Cancer. But you're staying on course. You're not letting your emotions control you. You're very sensible. You see, you're not sure if you see a future with them, but I do see a few dates, okay? Uh, hooking up, getting together um, to find out if you're on the same page. And I do see you being quite discerning about that as well with that Queen of Swords energy. But that's what you want, making sure someone, you know, that you get each other, you communicate well, uh, you both want the same things. Yeah, if, this, if there's love here, see, it's making a choice in love. You see, this is about commitment, whether someone's right for you or not. That's where you realize you're going to move away. I think you're going to meet someone before you're completely over somebody or before it's completely over. Okay, so yeah, Let's see what the outcome of this is here. And then we'll pull out some charms. Cancer. Oops, there we go. Yeah, so all tied up. Trust your intuition. There's a, a decision you need to make. You might be a little indecisive. It's telling you to look at why you're invested in someone who comes in with ego, who just looks for attention. If you're in that situation, okay, because you got someone who wants to communicate. They want to offer you that pinnacle. I know it's very possible, like I say, the scenario where this is somebody who needs to release their ego, okay, Mm -hmm. But I think it's yourself for most of you. It's here twice, so there's two scenarios. Looking back at all this hard work, why you're actually invested in someone who comes in when they just want attention. You're not getting what you want. You're not getting the attention you need. See? You're going to meet someone new. And that's the thing. is You start thinking about meeting someone new when you're in a situation with someone. That generally means that you're already moving away is what it's trying to tell you. So that's that energy of taking a moment to a little introspection with that hermit energy. Now looking at things from a different perspective about your decisions and this life path and your choices. Wow. Kind of heavy. <laughs> I chose these cards this week for that healing energy, for that... Because uh, I love this deck of cards. I feel as it brings out a lot of energy. And it brings out a lot of truths and clarity. A lot of food for thought. So let's see what the outcome of this is. This is about justice. Whether someone's right for you. So you want a commitment. Okay. Don't let somebody rush you towards a commitment either. If you don't feel comfortable with the situation, don't be afraid to speak your truth. This is when you meet someone new and you teach them how you want to be treated. Okay. Watch that energy too. So it's about justice and balance and what's right for yourself. Yeah. You're, you're looking at that energy. You know. You got this, Cancer. All right. So we have, uh, there's some wing, a wing here. 
I see an elephant. Yeah, a little reminiscing here, see? Could be you're just reminiscing about a past situation too, you know? Taking those things that you learned from the past, not repeating mistakes of the past. So it could be just spirit telling you to take that little moment when you meet this new person that you if you have had a situation in the past where you were very passive you didn't tell someone how you want to be treated or they didn't treat you right and you didn't speak up it's telling you not to do that again to speak up you don't have to be harsh or judgmental it's because i do see the queen of swords and the queen of cups side by side you can still be kind and compassionate if someone isn't giving you what you want right there's that reminiscing but i do feel it's a little melancholy some of you missing family and friends as well it's also an energy days gone by things are much simpler when you're younger you know when you're really young and you just sort of connect with somebody and it's not complicated so i feel like that's also that energy where you're looking at that so there's a good omen there's that eight that strength that you have you see beautiful and there's that good luck so you've got good luck on your side beautiful a little serendipity, light-hearted energy. Very nice. I'm going to grab a couple more. Oh, there's that four-leaf clover again. Beautiful confirmation. Yeah, straight as an arrow, staying on course, seeing the truth in a situation. Don't be afraid to speak your truth okay when you meet someone new because that's what this could be about is taking that pause to look at things from a different perspective seeing things differently it's about doing something different with this decision about your life path the people that you choose okay and your love life and there's that moon a little moon energy trusting your intuition uh, taking the time to get to know someone you don't always know everything but don't be afraid to ask questions somebody doesn't like you being you know asking questions they may not be the right person for you, you know. Stay on course. Don't let your emotions control you is another really, really big uh, communication here. But I think it's the person coming towards you as well. They're coming in uh, quite, quite suddenly. Could be somebody cutting in too, like, you know, looking to see that you're with. If you go to a party, a celebration, and you're out and about and you're with someone and it's not going well, but you get introduced through family or friends to this other person uh, i feel they're also in that decision you know looking at things from a different perspective they definitely could be checking you out you know maybe they someone who's hearing some kind of gossip that you're moving up moving away from someone and they may be waiting for something to complete right so that they come towards you and have success. So I do see a little bit of energy of patience. Somebody wanting to know if you're single with that transformation. I don't think you're going to be single for much longer if you have been. For those of you who've been single for a while, it's looking like you have a person heading your way. Uh, most definitely yeah, a little sensitive person though so someone i feel just a little apprehensive and shy see they control their feelings a little bit here um, somebody who definitely kind of has their own way of doing things tell me more about that king of pentacles yeah so this could be some oh yeah they want to get to know you more the more you get to know this person or they get to know you they see that it's the birth of something new um, very strong Taurus energy in this reading, but I feel that if they don't, if there's no Taurus, it's really just an energy of someone who um, does things in a more traditional manner. Okay, dating, courting in a traditional way, the birth of something new. Stay in your Empress energy. As someone who wants to get to know you, this could be distance travel here. You know, two people getting to know each other over a period of time. Uh, and growing closer there's that energy of growing closer see taking the time to get to know each other before you move towards that physical as well you see don't be afraid to speak up about that too beautiful this person sees your worth and your value here because it's an energy of you valuing yourself too so let's grab some letters and see what comes out here this could be person's first or last initials where you meet or people you meet through so I see an A, an E, a Y, a D, an S, an A, and another I. Lots of vowels. Nice. I like that. Form a word, a P and a Q. Is that Q? Right on Q. Right on time. <laughs> 
just in time. <laughs> I, every time I see the cue, it pops in my head to do a timing right on cue. It's like something is, it's like it's kind of meant to be. It's going to create this transformation, this offer, this opportunity. And I feel you're moving. As you get to know this person, you're moving away from that single life. I see you looking good, taking care of yourself, the birth of something new, doing things in a whole new way as well. All right, Cancer, I wish you the very best on this journey. It's telling you to stay strong, okay? This could be a long-term relationship, too, with this infinity sign, something that long-term. There's a good omen here. This is my favorite, is that dragonfly energy. Take care, you guys. I wish you the very best, and we'll see you soon.